Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel. And if you're watching this video, then I am finally back. All right, here's what happened. So we went on a cruise for a week with our friends from Seattle, and then we were home a week, and then we went on another cruise for a week. Well, actually the same exact cruise, same boat, same itinerary, everything that we'd been on with the friends from Seattle, we went on with my cousin Erica and her friends. And these are friends that she, she worked with at one time. Here's what happened in that part. <laughs> um, we were on the cruise during Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Helene caused the port of Tampa to close down. So we were stuck on the cruise ship, which isn't a bad place to be, be stuck. Although for some people it was, you know, very inconvenient for us. We were pretty lucky. Uh, the only thing is that we were packed and gave our bags up and they didn't give you your bags back for the extra time, the extra day. We were supposed to get off at like seven in the morning on a Saturday and we got off at, I don't know what time. It was in the afternoon though, um, on Sunday um, at 2.30, 3 o'clock maybe. And then by the time we got home, it was pretty late because there were just no taxis. When you got four ships that were kept at bay, we were kept out in the Gulf. We couldn't even come into Tampa Bay. Um, anyway, so that's part of it. Um, so then we get back and then all of a sudden now we have Hurricane Milton. So on Tuesday, so Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I guess. I, I'm getting the dates all mixed up. But anyway, long and short of it is that we um, had to get ready to evacuate. Well, well, whether we evacuated or stayed, we had to get our house ready because it involves moving a lot of plants, all the patio furniture, putting up all the window things. You can't leave anything out, or you, let me rephrase that, you should not leave anything out during a hurricane because with those mild, with, you know, winds like that, anything can become a missile. So we're talking everything, every potted plant, barbecue grills, every, every, everything. Every bird bath, everything. At our age, <laughs> it used to take us less time. We had less stuff in the backyard and we were younger. And these new shutters are better than plywood, but they're heavy and they take a while to put up the way they go up, these galvanized ones. Anyway, the long and short of it is we took almost three whole days <laughs> to get everything ready. On top of that, I had diverticulitis attack during this time. Not a bad one, but you know, it was something I was able to manage without any medical assistance, but it sure slowed me down. So on Tuesday, we evacuated before the storm. We evacuated and went to someone's house who lives south of us, uh, not that far, 39 miles, but they live in a better house. They live in a cinder block house. We live in a wood frame house that has cement and stucco over the wood. They also have all the impact resistant windows, which, we don't have. They also have the kind of roof that has the tie downs inside the walls and the shape of the roof is a little different. Um, hard to explain, but um, you can probably Google it. So it's just, oh, and they are in a no flood zone. We are in a flood zone C. They run A, B, C, D, E. And ours, we had a um, mandatory evacuation. Now, there was two or three houses in our neighborhood out of about 50 houses that did stay. We did have quite a bit of damage to mostly foliage, and then some people had water in their garage. But I actually saw some carpet and carpet pad out on the street across. <laughs> there goes many on the, from the street across from us. So somebody may have had water intrusion in their home, but we didn't. I saw no signs of it or anything, so... But what we did lose was the tree in the front yard. That's in front of the window where I hang my bird feeders and the staghorn fern and where I count and wa watch and count birds for Cornell every November through April. 
you know, as sad as that is, it's a lot of people had a whole lot worse, especially the people who were live near the beaches and were really hit during Helene and haven't really, I'm sorry, my hand is just sore, <laughs> um, who haven't had a chance to clean up in here, they get hit again. So, but our neighborhood, we had a lot of foliage go down, a lot of trees and the main, the road that's outside my neighborhood was closed off until maybe this, what is today? Today is Tuesday. It was closed off until I think Sunday night and uh, lots of big trucks were there the whole time they were working with so many trees destroyed, even coming into our neighborhood, just big old oak trees just sheared off, just looked like big toothpicks, you know, but anyway, um, so that's what that is. I still, we had, oh, we didn't have, we came back home on Friday. Yeah, I don't think we, we didn't leave, let's see. The storm was Wednesday night. Yeah, we didn't leave right away because we had brought a, a generator. So when the people we were staying with, their power went out on Wednesday, we were able to, after the storm passed, hook up a generator. And then Thursday, we didn't just want to take the generator away from them. So, but Thursday night, they got power. They were out of power for 21 hours. So then Friday morning, we left because they had power. So we came home and we had no power. So we hooked up the generator, and, but the problem was getting gas for it. And I'm sorry, distracted and watching Cherry out the window in our big pile of debris. Um, anyway, uh, so we come back and, oh, during this time we couldn't hardly get gas for the thing. Yeah, you can have a portable generator, but to not have gasoline to run it, then what, you know? And we went all kinds of stations and stuff. Like I say, I made some videos when all this was going on. Um, so we finally got power back on Saturday night. Yeah, we had to clean out a big chest freezer. It's just a mess. But anyway, and get and we've been trying to put everything back together. We're still working on it. And little, you know, some little flashings or whatever missing off the house. Of course, the tree. Um, I'll show you that right now. Hold on. There's the debris pile from our yard. And as you can see, no tree. You just see that right there, the in, the stump part, the in-ground stump part. We are, we have power. And we did have to go out one night and say, looking for gas, looking for food. We had some canned foods, but we were just, you know, we were hungry from working and stuff. And we just wanted, like, to go at a sit down. There were restaurants open, not many. There were some. But they were all just so backed up. They said, you know, by the time we call you, we'll be closed. <laughs> so, sorry. So what we found was a food truck. I don't know if Jerry had ever eaten at a food truck before. We still don't have internet or TV, you know, because we have the cable thing. And we probably don't have a home phone. I just haven't even tried it. But it, just in talking to you now, realize, excuse me, it has not rung. And that doesn't happen here. We get spam phone calls every single day. So that's where we are. So I can't upload anything. And I do have, my phone is through Teen and Mobile, so I have internet on that. But it hasn't been very good. It has not been, I normally have fairly good service. I have some service, but it hasn't been great. We are fine. We are, consider ourselves lucky. We do have, you know, a tiny bit of loss and... Obviously, it was uncomfortable not having power, but we were kind of lucky because that first night was pretty cool. Yeah, the, I don't, I guess it was just the cloud, the cloudiness or something, but it was pretty cool. The first couple of days, we were really, really lucky when uh, Thursday and Friday, you know, where this time of year could be pretty warm. So anyway, we are just picking up and moving on and still doing some cleaning and repairing and you know, it's taken us <laughs> days to try to get everything back to where it was before. So we were lucky in that when we drove in, our tree that had fallen over was already chopped up and most at the curb. Now, did they did leave the big limb things that needed a bigger chainsaw, but um, it's not really even a tree. It's a shrub that grew into a tree. And it turns out it was pretty rotted and it had been leaning anyway. And I thought it was because of my staghorn fern but um, maybe not, which now I have no home for that. 
that is on my screen porch posing as an orchid because I say only orchids on the screen porch. <laughs> but anyway, um, thanks to those who reached out. I appreciate your concern. We're good. We're good. Thank you. P.S. <laughs> we're supposed to be on a cruise right now, but we were able to cancel and get a 100% refund. Thank goodness. Bye.